So if you're standing with your feet together, turn your toes out, point to 10 and 2. Rise up onto your toes and then place your heels behind your toes. And just rock forwards and backwards, heels to toes. Find your centre of gravity. Try and hold it up there for a second. Don't let the ankles wobble, keep them nice and solid. Perfect, keep it going. Every time making it a little bit smaller. So you find that perfect resting point between your heels and your toes. That's it, take a deep breath in, shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, let them fold down your back. And again, rolling them back, pulling those shoulder blades right down your back one more time. Perfect, standing nice and tall. Remember that string coming out the top of your head, pulling all the way up through your spine. And then thinking about the pelvis, we're just going to do some pelvis circles all the way around as big as you can, really loosen off those joints. And the other way. Perfect, one more time. Bring it into the centre, we're just going to go backwards and forwards. Perfect, find that middle ground every time, making it a little bit smaller again. Find your neutral spine where your pelvis sits perfectly into your spine. Perfect, relax those arms down. Pulling up through the pelvic floor now, so imagine you're zipping up your jeans, pull it all the way up, release it halfway down, and then all the way down. One more time, pulling the pelvis up. So you shouldn't be tensing the glutes, just those internal muscles. Relax. One more time, squeeze them all the way up. Release them halfway down, and then halfway again, so they're about 20 to 30% of the maximum. Thinking about those core muscles now, so those deep core muscles, squeeze them all the way in. Imagine you've got a belt on, you're doing that belt up as tight as you can onto that top pole. Perfect, release it out. And again, put it all the way in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Really tighten that belt all the way around the waist. Release it halfway. And then halfway again to that 20, 30%. So that's where I want you to hold it for the whole class. So relaxing those arms down by your side, take a deep breath in. Feel your ribs expanding. And exhale, bringing those ribs back down. If you need to put your hands onto your ribs to feel that, you can go ahead and do that. Deep breath in. Exhale, pulling those ribs back down. One more. Perfect. Relaxing the arms down by the side. Just drop your chin to your chest, and we're just going to roll the head ear to shoulder and the other way. Only half circle, so you're drawing that semicircle with your head. All the way down in front, and then ear to your shoulder. One more time each way. Perfect, back to centre, and roll it up. Good, taking those shoulder rolls now. Perfect, all the way back, get that full range of movement. Make it a little bit bigger, get the elbows involved. And then straighten the arms all the way around. Perfect, and then we're going to rotate the other way, bringing them forwards, making it a bit smaller, just the elbows. And then we're just going to bring those shoulders forwards. Perfect. One more. And then just roll them back, find that nice neutral spine again. Perfect. Right, we're going to take a nice little swing to the side, loosening off the spine, rotating around, looking behind you. Bring the arm up this time. Releasing through that spine. Sway one way, sway the other way, keeping those feet solid on the floor. Perfect, one more each way. Good, making it smaller now, bring the arm across. And then bring the arm back down. Perfect, relax it back into the middle, taking that hip distance apart again. Perfect, right, so we're going to do it onto the hips now. So we've got a harder option and an easy option. If you want to take the easy option, if your balance isn't feeling up to it today, keeping the toe on the floor, we're going to draw a little semicircle around on the floor. If you want a bit of a challenge, taking the leg up, only to where you feel comfortable, find your balance. And we're going to open the leg out to the side. Perfect. And rotate it round to the back. Hold it there. Find that balance, you can do it. Bring it back to the side. Drop that hip, don't let that hip come up. 
bringing it back to the front. Perfect, hold that balance, you've got it. And round to the side. Hold it there, to the back. Find your balance, you can do it. Holding through that core, pulling up through the pelvic floor. Rotate it back round to the side. This time we're gonna bring the knee in, so we're gonna start warming up those knees now. Just bend the knee, tap the toe on the side of your standing leg, and extend, perfect. One more, hold it out, bring it round to the front, and balance. We're gonna take the arms down, bringing them up in front, all the way up to the ears, open them down to the side, one more time, down to the floor, bringing them up in front of the body, keep that balance, down to the side, and replace that foot, perfect, just walk through the feet, and get ready to go on the other leg, so remember you have that option to stay down on the floor, if you want a challenge, lift the leg, find your balance, open it to the side, Perfect, keep that balance, keep those hips stacked. Rotate to the back, find your core. Perfect, back to the side. Keep those hips nice and level, remember you have that option on the floor. If you want to come back up, if you need to tuck your toe down just to find that balance, bring it back to the front. Perfect, and again, round to the side, to the back. Hold that balance, you can do it. I'm using my balance. Back round to the side, and we're gonna bring those knee folds. So fold the leg in, tap, and extend. Perfect, you can do it. Keep the balance. One more. And back round to the front. We're gonna balance here, bringing the arms down. Up in front of you, all the way up to your ears. Don't copy me. Relax them down the sides. One more time. All the way up. And relaxing them down. Perfect. Well done. Just walking through those feet again, warming up the ankles. Good. And then taking yourself to the end of your mat. So we're going to start with a roll down through the body. So drop the chin to the chest. Exhale, rolling down all the way through the spine. One vertebrae at a time. Hanging down at the bottom, if you want to take the elbow, just have a little swing. Releasing out through that lower spine. Feel that stretch down the back of your hamstrings. Release the arms, deep breath in. Exhale, start to reset the spine, one vertebrae on top of the other, like building blocks. Head is the last thing to come up. Same thing again, drop the chin. Rolling down through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. All the way down, as far as you can go, get that stretch on the back of the hamstrings. Deep breath in. Exhale, start to reset the spine. One vertebrae, replacing on top of the next. One more time, this time we're going to stay down. Deep breath in. Drop the chin to the chest and exhale, rolling down. Take it nice and slow. Perfect. And we're going to walk the hands out. Perfect. So on the four point nearly, shoulders over the top of your hands and knees underneath the hips. We're going to tuck the toes and we're going to come into a downward dog. So lift the hips to the ceiling. Get that nice stretch through the calves. And if you want to take it a bit wider, you can do. Find that position that feels right for you. We're going to take it onto one leg. So lifting your right leg. Keep it parallel, so toes pointing towards the back of the room. Good, and then we're going to turn it out. So I don't care whether your leg's here or if it's all the way up, and wherever is comfortable for you, just keep that leg straight. Perfect, and now we're going to bend it and you're going to try and touch your head with your toe, opening up that hip. Perfect, back to centre. Bring it back parallel now. We're going to take a deep breath in. Exhale, we need to push all of the air out, coming forward into the plank, bring the knee between the hands. Push it back. Same thing again, bring it forward, exhale. Inhale, push back. 
Two more on this leg. Perfect. And last one. Exhale, breathe forwards. Inhale, push back. Replace that foot and just pedal through the feet. Getting ready to go on the second leg. So find that position. Take that second leg, the left leg up now, parallel to the floor to start with. And then we're going to turn it out, lift it a bit higher. I'm not sure, I don't mind how high it is. Keep those legs straight. Then we're going to bend that knee, open up that hip, get that nice stretch into your hip flexors. Perfect, bring it back up. Take it back to parallel. Replace those hips. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring that knee in between your hands. Pushing back. Inhale. Exhale, push all of the air out. Bring it forwards. Push back. Two more. You're nearly there. Inhale, push back. Last one. Bring it all the way forwards. Push it back. Replace that foot. Just pedal through the feet here. And when you're ready, replace the knees. Sitting back onto your heels. So we're going to go now into a variation of swimming. So we're going to stay on our knees here. You have the option of being on your hands or on your elbows. I'm going to do it on the elbows. So we're going to extend the right leg back. And we're just going to start with some slow leg lifts. When you reach the top, I really want you to think about squeezing the glute. Keep the core engaged, pulling up through the pelvic floor. Perfect, that's it. Good. Now we're going to go a little bit faster, so double that speed. Tap the floor, lifting up. Keep the core engaged. That's really nice. Feel that working in the glutes. Good. One more. Hold it up there. Squeezing through that glute. You can do it, don't give up. Keep that core engaged, pelvic floor. Perfect. And then we're going to bend the leg. Flex the foot. And we want a nice 90 degree bend at the knee. And we're just going to bring it in. Kick it back. Perfect. Good. Keep it going. Really nice, guys. And up and hold. We're going to pulse. Keep the knee at that 90 degree bend. Imagine you're kicking the ceiling. And hold, we're gonna bend and stretch. Good, engage those hamstrings. Imagine the back of the leg is what's pulling your heel to your bum. One more. Out, and tap that toe down, bring it back in. Get your ready to go on the second leg, so we're gonna slide the left leg back now. Engage the core, lift. And lower, nice and slow to start. Perfect. That's it guys, keep it going. Good. One more slow and then we're gonna double that speed up. Ready, let's go. Tap down. Good. Keep it going guys, you're doing really well. Engage the core. Good, two more, and hold. Squeezing through that glute. Good, and we're gonna bend that knee, coming into that 90 degree bend, imagine you're kicking the ceiling, ready? Bring it in, push it up. Engaging through that core, don't let the abs drop. Good. Nearly there. Two more. And up and hold. We're going to pulse. Ready? Tiny little movement, squeezing through the glutes. Nearly there. Good. And bend and stretch. Squeezing through the hamstrings. Imagine that pulling your heel all the way into your bum. And one more. Out, stretch, let that heel come down. And we're just gonna sit back into a child's pose. Heels to the bum, 
Reaching those fingertips forwards. Perfect. Coming up to seated now. Nice and slow, you're just going to scoot yourself to the end of the mat. We're going to do a rolling back. So we're going to start, toes just on the floor, resting the hands onto the side of the knees. If anyone struggles with this, you have the option just to do a rolling up sequence. If you want to have a bit of fun, we're going to just tap the toes onto the floor. Inhale, we're going to start with a pelvic tilt. Just rolling that spine into a C shape, sitting up nice and tall. Same again, exhale, roll. Inhale, back up straight. One more. Perfect, right, so we're going to make it a little bit harder now. We're going to start with that pelvic tilt. We're going to tuck the chin and we're going to roll. Up and try and balance. Toes just off the floor. Say it again. Inhale, tuck the pelvis, tuck the chin, roll, balance, hold that core, that's it. Perfect. If you want more of a challenge, we're going to try it with the arms up now. Inhale, exhale, tuck the pelvis, tuck the chin, roll and balance. Engage those core muscles. Perfect. We're going to do one more just like this. Tuck the pelvis, tuck the chin. Roll, back up, start sitting nice and tall on those sit bones. If you want more of a challenge, the next time we're going to stretch those legs at the end. So starting with that bench, take a deep breath in. Exhale, roll. Tucking the chin, sitting up tall, extend those legs. Hold. Open the arms out to the side, nice and tall, shoulders away from the ears. Hold it there, you're doing really well. Three, two, one, bring it in. Perfect, well done. And then just take a little slow rolling back into a full body stretch. Lengthening through those fingers, through the toes. Perfect, and then we're just gonna roll over onto our left side. So we have the right leg on top. We're going to start with the hand on the floor. If anyone has any wrist problems, you can do this on the elbow. But we're going to start with the hand. So you're going to place that top leg bent, bottom leg with that foot tucked just behind that top leg. Hand on top, take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're going to sweep that arm over, keeping that bottom knee on the floor. And bring it back down. One more just like that, exhale. And bring it back down. If you want more of a challenge this time, we're going to stretch out those legs. Inhale, exhale, sweep the arm into a big, nice side bend. Bringing that arm up. Remember, you have that option to be on the elbow if this hurts your wrist. Perfect. Bring you back down. We're going to do one more. We're going to make it a little bit of a challenge now. Exhale, sweep the arm. Find that balance. And we're going to take that arm and cross it through. Thread the needle, stretch up nice and tall. Crossing through. Perfect. Good, and one more. And hold it up. Perfect, bringing it back down. And we're going to tuck the legs and just take a nice big side bend over those legs. Perfect, and then you're just going to lie back down, rolling over onto the back. We're going to do a double leg stretch. So starting, feet flat on the floor, take a deep breath in. Exhale, float one leg up into tabletop. Remember those elastic bands from last week from your ribs down to your hips. Draw those elastic bands tight before you lift the second leg. Perfect, engaging those core muscles. We're just going to start with the arms facing the ceiling. We're going to drop the arms behind the head, circle them round, back up to the top, same again. Loosening off those shoulder joints. Keep that flow going with the breath. Every circle is one breath. Perfect. So when you want to add the next layer, we're going to crunch up when the legs, when the arms come in. Extend. Circle round and crunch. Keep that one going. 
Good, nice. And then next level up, you can stay here if you want. If you want more of a challenge, we're going to add the legs. So crunching up when the arms extend, the legs extend. Bringing them back in, crunch into that ball. Extend, squeeze, double leg stretch, squeezing in. Perfect, keep this one going. Circling through those shoulder joints, through the hips, squeeze. Keeping a nice distance between your chin and your chest so we're not tucking that chin. We're not going to feel it in the neck. Perfect, come on guys, we're nearly there. Two more. Squeeze into the ball, extending out. Last one. Squeeze and hold. That's it, guys. Nice. Breathe. And extending, placing those feet back down into a full body stretch. Perfect. And then we're going to roll onto the left side. So I'm going to just turn around for you guys, but you guys can just roll onto your, your left. So your left leg's on top. Starting on the hand or on the elbow, do whatever you did on the other side so it's the same. Hand resting on the top knee. Take a deep breath. Exhale, lifting up, keeping the knee on the floor to start. Bringing it back down. One more time, just like that. Inhale. Exhale, throw that ball over your head. And relax it down. This time we're going to take those legs straight if you want. Inhale. Exhale, lift and stretch those legs. Lifting up nice and tall, hips as far away from the floor as possible. Perfect. Bring it back down. Same again. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Find that balance. Bring that arm on top. Keeping the head in line so don't let your neck flop. Keep it nice in line. Bring it back down. One more time. We're going to add those thread the needles. Inhale. Exhale. Throw that ball. Lift those legs. Lift the hips. Bring it straight. And we're going to thread the needle. Pulling it back up. Perfect. Keep it going. Really twist those shoulders. Two more. Good. And last one. You can do it. All the way back up. Hold it here. And relax it down, tucking those legs, take a big side bend over this way. Perfect, release it down, this time we're going to lie up onto our stomachs. Taking the hand underneath the shoulders, hands flat on the floor. We're just going to start with some pelvic tilts here, so take a deep breath in, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, just squeeze and lift the pelvis off the floor. Engage those lower core muscles and release it down. Same again. Inhale, squeeze. Squeeze it through the core and release it down. One more, just like that. Squeeze the pelvis off the floor. Keep those shoulders away from the ears and release it down. This time we're going to come up into a three quarter plank. So deep breath in, squeeze that pelvis up to start, and then we're going to roll up even further just to the front of the knees. Keep that core engaged, keep the pelvis tucked. Release it down. So we can keep going with that three-quarter, or if you want to tuck the toes, we're going to come into a full plank. So start with that pelvic tilt again. Rolling up to wherever you feel comfortable. We're just going to hold this here. Keep that pelvis tucked. I don't want to see anybody with their bum stuck out. Really tuck it under. Squeezing through the core, squeeze up through the pelvic floor, weight forward over the arms, and breathe. Perfect, release it back down, all the way to the floor, and then just take a nice cobra stretch. Release that chin if you need. Perfect, tuck the toes, we're going to come up into that downward dog, kicks to the ceiling, pedal through the feet. Rising up on both feet, push both heels down. And then we're going to step the right foot in between the hands into a nice deep lunge. Feel that stretch coming all the way down the hip flexor.
And then we're going to plant that hand, open it out towards the leg. Reach for the ceiling. Perfect, bring that hand back down. And then we're just going to heel toe the toe towards your left hand. Drop the knee. And we're going to come into a pigeon stretch. So as far forward as you can go, we're going to feel this stretch in the glute of the front leg. Deep breath. Every breath, try and feel that stretch a little bit deeper. Coming back up onto the hands now. Pushing back up, heel toe that foot back in. And we're going to come right forward on that leg, lift that back foot and try and grab hold of the foot. If you can't grab hold of your foot, try and grab your sock, try and grab your leggings, anything you can reach. And feel that quad stretch. Deep breath. So you want to be on the front of your kneecap, not on the top. So just be careful you're not sitting your weight onto that foot. You want to bring it forward onto the front leg. Release the toe and step that foot back into another downward dog. Pedal through those feet. And then stepping the left leg forward right between the hands. Get that really deep lunge, stretching through the hip flexor. Plant the hand and we're going to twist towards the leg. Open up the chest. Perfect, replace that hand down. Heel toe that foot towards your right hand this time. Knee down to the floor, untap that bottom leg and coming into that pigeon stretch. Every breath we're trying to get deeper into the stretch. Deep breath. And replace the hands. Coming back up, heel to that foot back in. And then we're going to drop that back knee and bring that quad stretch. So you're reaching the opposite hand round to reach the foot. Remember, if you can't reach your foot, try and grab your sock, try and grab your leggings, wherever you can reach. Feel that quad stretch. Perfect, release that leg and we're going to push back into that downward dog, pedaling through those feet again. And then we're going to bring it forward into a blank. We're going to press it down to the floor and then we're going to roll slowly onto our backs. Arms out to the side, I want you to bend your left leg up and we're going to bring it across the body to stretch out the lower back. Looking back towards your left hand. Every breath, try and get that knee closer to the floor. Keeping both shoulders on the floor. Bring you back to centre now. Stretch while well, bending your right leg. We're going to stretch the left side of the body. So feel that leg all the way over, keeping both shoulders on the floor. This time we're looking towards the right hand. Perfect. Stretching through that spine. Every breath, try and get the knee closer to the floor. Bring it back to centre. Arms go above the head. Full body stretch. Reaching as far as you can away from your body. And take a deep breath here at the bottom. Exhale, we're going to roll up. 
squeezing through the spine. Use your hand if you need. And then just come into sit cross-legged facing the front. Take a deep breath in. Remember, expand those ribs. Exhale, push all of the air out of your body. Suck those abdominals in, hollowing out the core. Squeeze and hold. Keep pushing all of the air out. Squeezing those abdominals in. And release. Perfect. Well done, everyone. You did really well today.